Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Polygon Source. Now, I. Ah, uh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> So on this week's video, we are not feeling, feeling very Christmassy, Jason's being Scrooge, but we are going to review Sunset Overdrive, or more importantly Jason is, in 60 seconds or less. Are you ready? I'm ready. In 3 seconds, you have 60 seconds. 3, 2, 1, Yahtzee. So Sunset Overdrive is Insomniac's last good game since Spire of the Dragon. Oh burn. <laughs> resistance? What about resistance? The basic premise of the game is you're in Sunset City and the new energy drink called Overdrive has turned everyone into freakish mutants and you somehow survive this, but instead of being an apocalypse, it's an awesome apocalypse, as the guy says in the game. Hmm. So basically the combat system and the whole system of the game is that you, you grind and wall run and jump and bounce and shoot enemies while moving on the fly and the point is if you stand still, you are dead. You just need to keep moving, building your style meter, unlocking new abilities and just basically getting more and more points. The, the cooler you are, the more points you get, essentially. And like, there's loads of costumes, unlockable stuff, and the plot's pretty throwaway, but the gameplay itself was amazing. There's just a really satisfying feedback look at new abilities and uh, just getting your hands on new weapons, new guns. Every gun is just silly. It's, there's no straight up machine gun or anything. And it's just, there's a great multiplayer mode. Two, and it's really fun. One, zero. Yeah. So that was Jason's take on Sunset Overdrive and some like games' debut on the Xbox One and for hopefully the first of many games to come from the studio. If you'd like to see more from Polygon of Source, you can subscribe down below. And until next Thursday, thank thanks you for watching. Jinx. Jinx. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Polygon of Source. And <laughs> Stop. That was so stupid. I'm like, she just like grabbed my head.